Welcome to today's edition of the Exploring Mining Podcast, featuring stock news from TSX, TSXV, CSE, ASX, NASDAQ, and New York Stock Exchange mining companies, plus interviews with CEOs and leading experts. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to another episode of the Exploring Mining Podcast. For news today, we've got the latest from Barrick Gold, Hecla Mining, Fury Gold Mines, and Fathom Nickel. But just before we get into the show today, a quick reminder that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so Twiga Minerals, a joint venture between the Tanzanian government and Barrick Gold Corporation, which trades on the NYSE under the ticker GOLD, has revitalized Tanzania's gold mining industry. According to the press release, Twiga comprises two mines, that's North Mara and Bulian Hulu, which were formerly run down and at a virtual standstill due to a deadlock dispute between the government and the previous operators. Mark Bristow, Barrick's president and CEO, explained, quote, We settled the dispute and established Twiga as a 50-50 economic benefits sharing partnership, which also vested a 16% shareholding in each mine with the government. We reinvented the mines, which now, as a combined complex, produce gold at a Tier 1 level. In other words, one which can produce at least 500,000 ounces of gold annually for more than 10 years at the lower half of the industry cost curve. End quote. Stock for Barrick Gold is down 0.21% at the time of recording. Moving along, Hecla Mining Company, which trades on the NYSE under the ticker HL, has announced the completion of its acquisition of ATAC Resources Limited for a total consideration of about 18.8 million USD in Hecla Common Stock. Phillips S. Baker Jr., that's Hecla's president and CEO, commented, quote, With the ATAC acquisition, we continue to execute our strategy of acquiring large land packages with significant exploration potential in favorable mining jurisdictions. The Rakla and Connacht properties in the Yukon are a massive land package of over 700 square miles, or 1,830 square kilometers, almost half the size of Rhode Island, with identified gold, silver, and base metal mineralization. As a result of previous investment in exploration by ATAC, Hecla is not obligated for the next decade to make significant expenditures to maintain control of the land package. So while we will advance the exploration as quickly as possible, we will have flexibility on our pace of spending. End quote. Stock for Hecla Mining Company is up 2.15% at the time of recording. Next up, Fury Gold Mines Limited, which trades on the NYSE American under the ticker symbol FURY, has announced the restarting of exploration activities at the Eau Claire High Grade Gold Project in the Ayu Ichi territory of the James Bay region of Quebec, following the easing of that province's emergency fire evacuation order. The company has since remobilized crews to continue its previously announced 2023 exploration drill program, focused on the continued expansion of both the Eau Claire deposit and the Percival prospect. Stock for Fury Gold Mines is up 0.95% at the time of recording. Lastly, for today, Fathom Nickel Inc., which trades on the CSE under the ticker FNI, has reported a further increase in its land position at the Go Chagger Lake Project in north-central Saskatchewan, Canada. This 3,060-hectare disposition was recently acquired by Fathom through direct staking and brings its total contiguous land package at Go Chagger Lake 
to 22,620 hectares. Ian Fraser, the company's CEO and VP of Exploration, said, quote, The acquisition of the new disposition is important for a couple of reasons. First, it ensures that Fathom's land package now fully encompasses 13 of the 15 high-priority targets recently identified by our structural interpretation of the historic 2008 VTEM survey. Secondly, it provides an additional buffer in the area of the Mal Lake Nickel occurrence, where a 1967 drill hole intersected 1.12% nickel, 0.24% copper, over 7.9 meters. End quote. Stock for Fathom Nickel Inc. is up 2.04% at the time of recording. Well, that does it for today's Exploring Mining podcast. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. InvestorIdeas.com reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. All investment involves risk, and this podcast is not meant to be an endorsement to buy or sell securities or products. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, and most audio platforms available.